Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today, I'm doing a tutorial, uh, actually starting a new series. I'm going to call it Quick Tip Tuesdays. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to, every Tuesday, I'm going to make a tutorial. And it's going to be pretty quick, um, pretty simple, but hopefully I can teach you some things that um, some of you may have been curious about or don't know yet already or just weren't sure how to do. So, And today's tutorial... We're going to be talking about um, how to throw an object in a particular direction. Uh, we're going to be using Cinema 4D um, like usual. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. And uh, this is really uh, quick and easy. I saw a comment on one of my videos a while back. Somebody had asked, how do you throw an object in a particular direction? So um, uh, it's actually really simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop on the floor here, add a rigid body tag to this. Um, Actually, we really don't even need that, but um, then I'll go up to my object um, icon, and we'll just use, um, doesn't really matter, we'll use the cube, and go ahead, right-click on the cube, go to simulation tags, go to rigid body, All right, and if, uh, you know, like usual, if we just play this, um, it just falls straight down and collides with the floor, so uh, we want to add, uh, basically, uh, throw or toss this, or whatever you want to call it, in a single direction, what we need to do is with the dynamic tag selected, in the dynamics tab, uh, you're going to see um, custom initial velocity, and you check that on, and you have initial linear and initial angular velocity. X, Y, and Z, X runs left to right, Y runs up and down, and Z runs front to back, so that's your depth, so X, Y, and Z. So if I go X, let's say if I go 600, it's going to fling the box when I when we press play the cube is going to fling to the right as you can see there it just basically tosses it to the right and if we go negative 600 it will go to the left just like if you were uh, working with a coordinate plane um, we can also do other values so like I can do 800 this way and it will toss it to the left but up so you can see there and we can also do angular velocity so if we want some uh, rotation on this we can go like 80 degrees press play and it'll it'll have some angular rotation now we can even do more if I do like 600 and we'll bring this down to about 300 let's go ahead and play this real quick and there you go um, so it's uh, pretty simple to do um, uh, not too difficult really easy um, may have been something you already know may have not been if it wasn't and this helped you out that's awesome that's the point of these videos and also um, this whole quick tips Tuesday uh, series that I'm going to be starting uh, leave a comment down below um, let me know what you guys think do you think it's a good idea would you watch the tutorials um, you know whatever any thoughts you may have leave them down below and uh, thank you for watching I will see you guys later peace out